Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so uh, this is going to be a Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well Leo Rising. Weekly Tarot reading November 25th to December uh, 1st, 2019. And uh, bear with me just a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the Tarot cards. And uh, we are to jump right into it. Oops. Alright, so the first one which stands for the topic of your week, Leo, that is going to be the uh, Knight of Pentacles, followed by the second card here, which represents the challenges that you will need to overcome throughout the week, that will be the Seven of Swords, followed by the third one here, which uh, stands for the uh, positive aspect of the week for you, and uh, we do have the Ten of Wands. And the last card here, which represents the guidance that Saro is offering to you, uh, we do have the uh, Ace of Pentacles. Just to check. No, it's not off. I thought that the camera is a bit, you know, tilted, but it, it looks fine, at least on my watch. Anyway, so... Um, the topic here that is going to be the Knights of Pentacles and is going to be catalyzed by the Nine of Swords. So we do have a passive um, enemies in this position and we do uh, and uh, the topic itself revolves around a person who feels very insecure. Insecure it is because um, for one or another reason, that person thinks of the, what, what he or she is about to do is going to have unwanted effect, okay, um, upon either you or upon the situation that you both are involved into. And what I am trying to say here, it is that this one, which is the Knights of Pentacles, wants to do something good. As a matter of fact, that is a person who has a... A deep devotion and it kind of likes it pretty much knows um, what they want okay the problem here it is that it takes some balls to go for what they want and in this case as it is your topic it could be you that they want all right or it could be that they want to do something with you as a cooperation but unfortunately they cannot um, or they will have to face a certain i would say fears in a sense of that uh, uh, it will take a certain actions from their behalf that they are afraid to do so they lack the uh, the determination which is a behind um, which is behind their actions and they are very very afraid so if you are expecting a, a person throughout this week to make a move on you uh, you need to know that they want to make a move on you in a certain way okay and that is a, a positive way the problem is that they don't have the guts or they don't have the balls 
to do it or if you are expecting someone to to give you something that could be the same uh the same thing that is happening uh to you for throughout this week uh leo the uh challenges that you will have to face that is going to be the seven of uh, swords and it is accompanied of the eight of wands so we do have an active uh, friends into this position and challenging wise I don't know how this is going to exactly relate to the situation, but it uh, these two cards are pointing that challenging is going to be you standing for, uh, I would say for yourself or a more appropriate expression here is going to be to stand for what you believe in. Okay, so um, the way I can relate that with the topic is that this person doesn't make a move. So you have to be the one who makes the move, but you are going to find it challenging because maybe, you know, you may think that it is their turn to show devotion. All right. Nonetheless, here, the challenge is going to be you sh stand for your rights. Okay. Or stand for yourself, if you will. Um show strong backbone, okay, storm particular situations which you think that you are either mistreated or that uh, you are not given what you deserve and so on and so forth. Uh, because uh, with the eight of wands, it looks like that that is a very good week for you to do so. Because there will be a certain openings there for you to uh, simply, you know, stand out from the crowd and show yourself either exceptional or uh, just you know, show or demand a, a certain certain things from a certain people that you think you deserve. And not just only that you think, but your self-righteousness dictates that you do deserve this thing. For example, um, your self-righteousness dictates to you that you do deserve to give a, to have a chance with a specific person, if we're talking about relationship, or you do deserve to be a given a uh, an opportunity to try to go for a promotion and so on and so forth. So it will take a little bit more a efforts from your behalf if um, if that makes um if that makes sense, even though you are to find out that you have done more than enough up until this moment. And it's no different than, you know, two people are trying to cooperate either in a relationship or either in a career, but one of them is uh, more apprehensive than the other. And while the other things that they have traversed, they are part, you know, of the connection, they still need to do uh, a little bit more than that. So it's like you have to traverse 70% while the other needs to traverse 30% of this cooperation. And that is only if you want the things to happen in between you and that person, Knight of Pentacles. So the other card that we do have here, it describes the uh, positive aspects for uh, you in this, um, in this week. And we do have the Ten of Wands, which is going to be accompanied with the Temperance card. And we do have the active uh, supporters. So uh, there are to be quite a lot of dynamic here. Many things are going to move around, all right? And um, you are to kind of like feel very, I would say, aggravated with the standpoint of this Knights of Pentacles not taking any action whatsoever uh, because you are going to have many other things to do as well. You're going to have, in other words, many things at, uh, on your plate to tackle with. But the good thing is, is that you are going to find the right measures for every single one of them. All right. You're going to find the appropriate uh, recipe of how to uh, devote to every single one of them, even to the chores, that is. And as a matter of fact, these cards are making are very potent of tackling with chores, and those chores are not going to be annoying as they usually have been back in the days. And um, <clears throat> it seems that you are going to uh, find the, uh, the, the right way, okay? The right way how you can predispose that person, Knights of Pentacles, and as well, additionally to that, you know, to take care for your uh, original routine or generic routine, if you will, by leaving nothing unattended. Another thing here, it is that throughout the week, you are to face a, a lot of compassion and solidarity from people around. You know, there could be... Um, 
differences in opinions in between you and that Knights of Pentacles, all right, or in between you and other people as well. But those differences in opinions are not going to be a, a prerequisite for you to start major fights, wrangles, if you will, uh, or to split parts or split ways with, uh, with other people. In other words, those differences are going to be honored or um, say it in different way. It is that instead of the differences to drift you apart, the differences, it is what is going to make you special for one another. But the best thing of uh, those two cards is that you are going to find the right way how to, um, how can I say it, um, reach a, a position of uh, of power, right? Your position, a higher position than the position you are in right now, either into your career or either into your relationship. And uh, the last card for you guys, uh, it is the um, <clears throat> Ace of uh, Pentacles here, which is the Guidance accompanied with uh, the Chariot card. And that is definitely about your uh, singular performance. We definitely are talking about here that you have to do more than you have done up until this moment. If you do want the things in between you and that Knight of Pentacles to carry on further, that is only if you want the things to carry on further. Because those cards are pointing that for one, uh, this thing you have with the Knights of Pentacles, which, by the way, could represent jumping into the old branches of love. That being said, it could signify a reconciliation with that guy, all right? Uh, or with that girl, in fact. But what these two cards here are pointing, it is that should you give uh, everything you got into it, then this is going to be an, an amazing thing that will allow you to further and develop, you know, your expectations either into career or either into relationship. Additionally to that, uh, it seems that, uh, how do you say it when you shine bright um, in front of others? It's kind of like, you know, making you on an exceptional exceptional person, right? Uh, or a person who is worthwhile in the eyes of others. Uh, the whole point here is that you will be able to engrave your own personal signature um, and your own personal presence into that situation. So you are going to dictate the rules from now on, which will allow you to establish a successful business endeavors, um, harmoniously flowing relationships from now on. Uh, uh, you are going to uh, be how graced with um, <laughs> but how do you say it really I'm trying to find the word here uh, it's like well graced with proudness probably because you are going to stand very very proud and uh, ultimately at the end you are going to have your triumph uh, to, to say the least but again it does depend on your a personal incorporation instead of waiting someone to do something that they have not that they don't doesn't have the balls to do it okay so that being said leo this was your weekly title reading november 25th to december 1st 2019 hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other next time until then bye